Hey folks, Rob here with uh, yet another C64 gameplay, and this week we're looking at Lazy Jones, originally written by David Whittaker as, yes, as, as the composer, um, and published by Terminal Software back in 1984. The basic idea is simple enough, you're Lazy Jones, a janitor at a hotel who is not exactly a, f a fan of wanting to do his job, so he basically shirks around the no doubt flaws avoiding his boss, the ghost of his previous boss, his cleaning equipment, diving into offices to play video games. So I think for a lot of us that's a, well, that's a fun little, little diversion. So let's dive in. So the idea is you just need to explore these 18 floors. You just use left, right, fire the jump, and then you go to a terminal. Here we've got, now these games are all sort of parodies of like arcade games at the time. So, so, in a weird, well. So this one is pretty much fire the fork, hit the turkey before it falls off the conveyor belt. And you can sort of see these games are sort of very simplistic. The idea is, yeah, you don't, you get points through correctly hitting the turkey here. There's just... And warning. So that's it, and by doing that for all the games, there's, I, I think there's, I can't remember, there's, there's lots of games. So you want to just, and of course you come into your room, another game. Some of these games are really tough, some of them are just, you know, play until you run out of time, others, others are, you have like a single life, and you need to play until you don't, you know, you just play until you don't die, that sort of thing. So you can sort of see, you know, we've had a sort of collect them up, we've got a, a, sh a simplistic little shmup. And see, this is this is the era, it's like 1984, and in the inlay, it proudly proclaims 100% machine code for smooth sprite action. And it certainly is smooth, you know, I've never, there's no glitchy, no flickery. So there we are. That, that's another game down. You sort of see how the game works, you know. The, you know, the, the fun is really just seeing... You just see all the little games that come up. I mean, on their own, you know, this is one of the... This is actually one of the earliest mini-game sort of games I can think of. I can't, I mean, I would love to be proven wrong. I can't remember anything earlier than this where you've just got these collections of, of little games to, you know, games made up of lots of smaller games. And here, you know, this one's probably, you can see why I'm getting a massive score. But you can see, you know, another little blaster, just dodge, avoid. Let's treat it out. So far, we haven't seen any of the other rooms. Um, there are rooms where you know he'll find his like janitorial equipment. So there's our. Oh, oh, it's up. I thought it was fire to jump. Oh dear. There we go. Jump over our janitorial equipment. Our boss is on the top floor, and you can't see him. But the ghost is just a black sprite. The ghost of the previous manager is on the bottom floor. So we should. Oh, this is one of those. Yep. This is one of those ones where we only have a life. Oops. <laughs> that was utterly rubbish. <laughs> that one is one of the more torturous ones. I'm never good at that one. And there's another game that I'm... And there's another sub-game I'm not good at either. Um... So the idea here with this one is you have to grab a... Grab the balloon as it comes up, and then you go up to the top and sort of alternate between going up and going down. So let's see if we can. That's right, you gotta grab two balloons. That's right. I haven't played this in a lot in quite a while, but I was chuffed to actually get the cassette not too long ago.
So uh, let's see if we can get another balloon. Oh, it's the next balloon. <laughs> so yeah, you can sort of see these, you know, these games for, for the time. You know, they're nice and smooth and reasonably colourful. And there is a variety in there, although I've, I'll try and at least complete the first level and show you all the games. So, uh, we won't have enough time to do another one. Oh well. But yeah, there's enough games, you know, out of the 18 rooms, I think it's 12 or 15 games. I have to, we'll see what happens. Ah, this is the other one I really hate. So the idea is here, you've got your little jet pack, heli pack, you know, almost like hero. <laughs> and you gotta rescue these pilot, these four souls, and you die if you call it, hit the walls. So that's the other one I get a really terrible at. So now I should be able to move floors. So let's go down. Oh, that was close. I managed to avoid the ghost of my previous boss. <laughs> and, of course, any of you would remember, this particular bit of the music was, of course, sampled by some dance track. Which was a bit of which is a bit of controversy because no attribution. And again, you know, these in itself, you know, what works is that it's this great little pick up and play game, you know, these little mini games. Yeah, you know, it always keeps you on your head. It's like which game is it? Do you remember how to beat it? And while some of them, you know, there are a good proportion of, of little shooters like that. There are also, you know, ones like that Rescue and the Jaywalk game where you do need a little more dexterity. <laughs> oh! He slimed me. Guess you could say. I don't know. I don't know what happens if you were to encounter your, the ghost of your previous boss. Is that a little ship a viper, or is it just me? But we see the sprites from one of the other games reused. I mean, I can't think of, you know, when I think of, um, you know, minigame sort of things, the only thing I can think of modern-wise is, of course, the WarioWare games, where they're, you know, evolving from various different kinds of, of control methods. And those obviously have a lot more space for a lot more little games, but there again, they're micro games like this, which is something that's always rather interesting to see grow. And I do love some of the names, like that one, The Hills Are Alive. Alive with what? Alien invasions? And I haven't shown you any of the non-game rooms yet. Ah. <laughs> All right, this one, this one feels like the weakest. It's just a simple Space Invaders clone because the controls are twitchy, which, which is really surprising because the rest of the game control, the rest of the controls aren't that twitchy. In this, you always feel they respond well. This one, they're really, like you know, that's a, like a light tap on the on the joystick, and it's like just zooming across. I guess Lazy Jones wishes he was Laser Jones sometimes. <laughs> that giant nose as he strolls out. Right. Oh. You can, of course, set your lives. Um, so by default, you have you can set to one to nine lives. I mean, I left it at five, which is the default. And 
No! Oh. One thing that would be nice is if it, um, if once you'd been in a door, it did change the color. Yeah, now he's found his janitorial supplies. The idea is he can duck into that room to just hide, to get out of the way for a moment. Oh. I don't think this amount of drinking is good for his work hours. But that could be me. You know? Be responsible. Be responsible, folks. And I forgot about this room. I actually forgot about... <laughs> Although it still does glitch out a bit there. Oh well. I definitely can't remember if there are extra lives or whatnot. Um, this one's significantly different to the other games so far. Oh, <laughs> nice little spit on snake there. Safely. I think I've got all the rooms there, so let's go up top. Is that game over? Oh, that's game over. Um, I'm going to call it a wrap there. I don't think it's worth me trying to go back and having another run. But that's Lazy Jones, which, fairly early little game. Surprisingly good fun, you know, having to dodge through those obstacles, play those little mini games. They play really well. And it's a good sort of mix of what makes a great little game in this era, you know. 1984 is roughly that point where the 64 developers are kind of understanding it enough and starting to churn out some really classic games, starting to churn out some really good games, although, you know, we'd see in the years later is when the real big classics hit. Um, so I'll call, I'll call it there. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, as always, you know, please do consider leaving a comment or leaving a, um, you know, leaving a thumbs up if you enjoyed the vid. Um, as always, if you'd like to see more gameplays, do uh, consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, you'll see some other thumbnails come up for a few other my older vids. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.